royal commentators have erupted in rage over the son's claim that Meghan Markle had her name removed from Archie Harrison's birth certificate as a way to snub Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge. The Duchess of Sussex's spokesperson hit back at the deceptive accusation, stating that the change was dictated by the palace and not requested by the Sussexes. ET Canada Live hosts Graham O'Neill and Keisha Chanty responded to the row, dubbing the original claims as sick. Ms. Chanty told viewers, I don't get how this story went from being a snub to Kate and all of a sudden it's a nod to Princess Diana. Can we just not have a go at Meghan? Can we let her live? Please leave her alone. If she does something blatant, sure talk about her. But this is just a b asterisk 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 t story about a cat fight with Kate. It's so disgusting. Mr. O'Neill agreed. I don't even get what they're trying to claim. So Meghan was sitting around, thinking what she could do to Kate Middleton. And she settled on taking her name off Archie's birth certificate. So that Kate would be the only one that has her name on her child's birth certificate. He joked. Yeah, that will really show Kate Middleton. Literally what? Ms. Chanty added. What are we doing here? Just leave them alone. People don't feel like they have access to them in the same way. They're not even there anymore. She continued, so now they just want to create a story to get attention. This is just sick. It's literally sick. Leave them alone. I'm tired of it. Why are these stories? Let it go. I just want to hear how the royal family is doing good in the world, and continuing to move forward, not stupid stuff like this. Although I do love the sass in Meghan's spokesperson statement.